I know Halloween just finished, but I already feel the festive Christmas spirit and I'm ready to celebrate it. I don't care. Anyways. So, if you follow me on Instagram, I think you've seen here and there of some projects that I've been talking about, some secret projects. And so, today is the day where I get to reveal what that project is, and that is Project Bridge Church Woodlands. It is exactly what it sounds like. Earth and Tone was hired to do their kids space and nursery. I mean, that is so exciting. You know, if you've been following us, we started our small business about three months ago and we've already been hired to do a kid space. So let's talk about day one. So day one, I walk into the space, it's empty, it's dark, there's ladders everywhere, but I felt inspired. This is the space, as you can see, it's empty. It needs to be worked on. So let's talk about what I've been thinking. A light palette, predominantly whites, but hints of colors. So half of the wall will be maybe green, pastel, and I'm thinking wainscoting. These walls, this is gonna have iPads for the kids to sign in, shelving, so this is kind of like the working wall. What's really in right now is making like arched shapes, but just painted on, like a light blue, we can choose a light yellow. It, it just depends on what I feel with the furniture that I put in. I think I'm gonna add wall art, and I'm gonna add a collage of my paintings with hints of colors and that right here on this wall. And then with the furniture, obviously with earth and tone, I'm hoping that we can get like some big piece of furniture. They're wanting something for the kids to put storage. If I can find, you know, maybe a hutch or a big cabinetry, something at an estate sale, I think that that'll be good. For what we were talking about, something green for the wall. These are kind of expensive. Like, do something. A foot. So that board, you guys, was so huge. It was four feet by eight feet, and I felt a little nervous about it, but it was really the only option. All the other paneling was so thick, and because that baseboard was so thin and flushed with the wall, I mean, I had no other option until I saw that board. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have to be crafty right now and cut each individual ridge and use that as my paneling for the wainscoting, and it was time consuming. It came out beautiful, but time consuming. We finally finished. It took a couple hours because we were doing, we were cutting from the panel. So let's put them up. Okay, so it's the next day and we did such a good job on that wall that we worked on. I want to show you. So I liked it so much that I actually want to do it again. It was going to be the accent wall and that was just gonna be on that wall alone. But I want it to feel like, like I told my husband, I want it to feel like we're being engulfed by the space, we're hugged by the space. So we're gonna put it on this wall. We're gonna put it on this wall. Not that wall. That's gonna be something different.
And so that's day one. I'm so excited. The wings coating came out so beautiful. I love how it's coming out so far. Stay tuned with Earth and Tone because we're going to continuously be showing you the progress of this project. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna love it. I'm loving it. Watch more Earth and Tone. There's just so much to come.